In our last story about George Washington Carver, we heard that many cotton farmers were worried about this insect. Do you remember what it's called? It's called a bull weevil, and it was destroying lots of cotton. In this story, we're going to find out what George did to help the worried farmers and their families. But first, you may want to ask your parents to click the link in the video description to download and print this free picture. You can color the picture and answer the questions that go with it while you watch the story to find out what George did about that tiny bull weevil that was causing big problems. Let's get started. Howdy y'all, I'm a cotton farmer and I need help. The bull weevil's destroying the cotton and if we don't have cotton to sell, we won't be able to buy food. Oh man, this was a big problem for lots of southern farmers in the United States about 100 years ago. What would they do? Many of them looked to George Washington Carver for help. Help us George, help! And do you know what he told them? Plant peanuts. Wait, what? Yeah, it seems a little weird. You're right, that seems a little weird. What's so special about peanuts? Well, it sounds weird, but even before the bull weevil came, George had been trying to convince the farmers to grow other crops besides cotton, because only growing cotton all the time was bad for the soil. Plus, it also made sense to start planting crops the bull weevil wouldn't eat. Oh, good point. All right, y'all, let's plant some peanuts and sweet potatoes and other stuff George says to plant. Yeehaw! Many farmers listened to George and grew peanuts, sweet potatoes, and other crops. George helped farmers learn to switch back and forth between different crops in the same field to help keep the soil healthy. This is called crop rotation, and it helped many farmers grow way more crops and help solve the bull weevil problem. But then there was another problem. Farmers didn't know what to do with all the peanuts they were growing. Some of them were even pretty angry. Well, thanks a lot, George. We can't eat this many peanuts. Peanuts for breakfast, peanuts for lunch, peanuts for dinner. What are we supposed to do with all these peanuts, George? They were pretty upset. And George wasn't sure what to do about the new peanut problem, but he knew God the Creator knew all about the peanut and everything else. What do you know about peanut plants? This is what a peanut plant looks like. Did you know that the part of the peanut that people eat grows underground? God sees every peanut in the world as it grows beneath the soil where we can't see it. Did you know peanut plants have yellow flowers? God sees every flower on earth and knows everything about each one of them. Did you know peanuts aren't really nuts at all? They're actually vegetables. God already knew all these things. George Carver believed God the Creator knows everything about everything. So he went for a walk and began talking to God. He said, Mr. Creator, why did you make the universe? Now George didn't hear anything, but he felt like God was saying, you want to know too much for that mind of yours. So George tried another question. Mr. Creator, tell me what man was made for. Again, he sensed God saying, you are still asking more than you can handle. God knows way more than anybody else. So George knew that and he asked a different question. Mr. Creator, why did you make the peanut? George still didn't hear anything, but he felt like God was saying, that's better, go to your laboratory and I'll tell you. So George took some peanuts into his science lab, closed the door and began taking the peanuts apart. He separated the different nutrients and began to use what he knew about science to make dozens and dozens of things out of peanuts. After three days, he called his students into the science lab and showed them some of his discoveries. So I'm going to say some things George may have made out of peanuts. I want you to give a thumbs up if you think it's real or a thumbs down if you think it's not actually something that George made from peanuts. Are you ready? The first one is peanut milk. Do you think he really made that or not? What about peanut bleach, peanut paper, peanut shampoo? peanut ink, and peanut shaving cream. Do you think he made that or not? Well, all of these are real things George Washington Carver made from peanuts. In fact, George eventually discovered about 300 ways to use the peanut. George shared these discoveries with the farmers and even wrote a small book about how to make things out of peanuts. The farmers were very thankful. Now they could grow and sell peanuts to provide for their families. Oh, thank you so much, George. Now we can take care of our families. Yay! 
God used George's inventions to help many people, but there was another problem. Again? Yes, again. Farmers needed someone to go to Washington, D.C. and help convince Congress, the people who make America's laws, to pass a law that would help American peanut farmers sell their peanuts. Now, who could do a big job like that? Oh, oh, I know. I think we should send George Washington Carver. He's the best man for the job. George, George, he's our man. If he can't do it, no one can. So, George went to Washington, D.C. But when George arrived at the super important meeting with Congress, the lawmakers had already been listening to other things for a very long time, and they were tired and a little bit grouchy. And the man in charge said, you have 10 minutes, Mr. Carver. 10 minutes? That wasn't nearly enough time. But George took a deep breath, <gasps> asked God for help. But wait, what would he do? What would he say? The peanut farmers are counting on him. How is he going to do it? Well, I guess you'll have to keep watching to find out. 10 minutes? How could George convince them to make a new law in just 10 minutes? Would he be able to do it? You'll have to watch George Carver Part 6 on the Kids Enjoying Jesus YouTube channel to find out what George did in that important meeting. You can also ask your parents to go to kidsenjoyingjesus.com and download a free copy of George Carver, God's Plant Doctor. This lesson has the rest of the story and lots of activities to help you learn more about George Carver and God the Creator. One of these activities is a super fun game called what do you know? With lots of crazy questions for you to try to answer. You can play it today. You'll need a paper and pencil to keep track of your score, or you can use this free game sheet from kidsenjoyingjesus.com. You'll also need a phone, computer, or some other device where you can watch the What Do You Know video on the Kids Enjoying Jesus YouTube channel with your family. Just gather around to watch the video and have everyone try to guess the correct answers to the crazy questions like, what is a snot bot? Is alien armpit a real crayon color? How thick is chameleon spit? And which dinosaur had the biggest head? This video uses silly questions and Bible verses to help you learn about God, the only one who knows everything about everything, even chameleon spit, dinosaur heads, and peanuts. Keep track of your answers, and after the video, you can add up the final score to see who got the most questions right. It's lots of fun. This silly game can help you enjoy learning about God the Creator, who knows everything. Enjoying God as Creator and trusting that He knows everything helped George Carver make important discoveries and help many people. I hope you'll take some time today to talk to God and enjoy Him like George did. He knows everything, and He wants you to know and enjoy Him.